free. Mr. Bergeron's on. Don't forget the popcorn, Frank. Coming, dear. Hi folks, I'm Trish Pope. I'm the marketing director uh, for Salmon Health and Retirement and I'm on the North Borough campus. Um, we have memory programs both in our assisted living and in our skilled nursing. I am the person that nobody wants to see and I'm really getting used to it. A lot of times you've kept your loved one at home and you simply can't do it anymore. Whether you have demands at work, you're emotionally and physically exhausted, you feel like a failure, you don't know what to do, and you come and see me, and you feel even worse. Well, that's not the case at all, and I'm used to the fact that nobody wants to see me. What happens when you come to assisted living? You move to a very home-like environment where there are trained people there who will be able to anticipate your person's needs. It doesn't mean that we're going to know everything, but it means that we're going to help make the days easier. You are still a big part of your person's life. We're just simply there to do the heavy lifting. Everybody is entitled to feel safe, both physically and mentally, to have a sense of purpose, and that's where we come in. We can provide a sense of purpose every single day. We also provide friendship and socialization, which is a huge aspect of this disease. Our recreational staff is trained. We're all um, CDPs, which is a certified dementia practitioner. Almost all of our staff has been through that training. We've gone through extensive tra training through um, the Alzheimer's Association. We run support groups. In Northboro, our support group is closed to people that are in our family. And our family means anybody who lives or is a member of Salmon Health and Retirement, whether it's a Beaumont, a Whitney Place, our Adult Day Health Program. What happens at a support group isn't therapy. What happens at a support group is Folks just like yourself come and they get support from other people who are going through the same thing. They might have found out something that works really well that you mightn't have thought of. Um, something that comes to mind is I had a new family move in. It was getting to be holiday season and they were really, really nervous about what was going to happen because they were taking dad home for Christmas dinner and all the grandchildren and dad knew he didn't remember anybody's name. Well, somebody else in our support group said, Oh, that happened to us last year. We took care of that. Emily's nine. Emily loves to make name tags. So when Grammy got there, Emily and Grammy made name tags, and everybody wore a name tag. So Grammy knew everybody's name. She didn't know they had done it for her. She was part of the activity, which is something, it's very simple, but we wouldn't have thought of that on our own. We have a lot of programs. Um, we have support groups in our Westboro campus that are caregiver um, and early patient. So if you are at home with somebody that's suffering from Alzheimer's disease and you can't get out to a support group, we have a support group for you. That support group takes place during the day and we have for your person that's going through the early stages of Alzheimer's so that they can come and talk to folks going through the same thing. We all deserve to be happy and that's what we try to provide. We also have, believe it or not. Is that rabbit on staff? The that rabbit is not on staff. Sorry. But believe it or not, we also have child care. Seems like it doesn't really fit. Child care, and we deal with old people. We've done a lot of intergenerational activities. Our child care is a huge part of our campuses. Um, we also have adult day health. We don't have adult day health on every campus, but there are adult day health programs throughout communities that can help you. You might not be quite ready for someone to make a move, but you need a break, and that's okay. And if you go to adult day health, a lot of people don't know this. Your person can get their showers there. So if they go twice a week and, you, and something that you're dealing with at home because you have a bathroom where they have to step over a tub and you don't feel as though somebody's going to be safe, they can go to Adult Day Health and get their shower. They can get their medication management there. There are all kinds of resources. And I will tell you that I give out that Baypack flyer to almost everybody that comes in my office because that new website is phenomenal and it has, it has helped people through so many things. What we do um, in assisted living is we give people a sense of community and a sense of purpose. We all want to live our days with purpose. People get nervous and they don't know. They're going to walk through the door of the neighborhood and they don't know what they're going to see. 
They're going to see a neighborhood like any other assisted living. People have their own apartments. They bring their things from home. It's calm. It's serene. But it is a very structured day so that you know what to anticipate. There's not a lot of downtime. People are tired at the end of the day. But if, you're, if you live with us and you were a registered nurse and you were the 11 to 7 shift, you might be up at night. That's OK. We have awake staff, PCAs, who are also certified dementia practitioners, who are going to be there to give you that sense of purpose. It might be filing. It might be uh, papers around the desk that night, and you're going to take messages. If you want to fold towels, you can fold towels, but you don't have to fold towels. If your job was um, you were a, mecha a mechanic of some sort, there are things for you to take apart and put back together. We try to meet people where they're at. We don't make them come to where we are. We come to where they are. So it's really, it's not, I know it's difficult for people when they're looking at assisted living, but it's another step. We don't take the tools out of your hands. We don't take the tools out of your loved one's hands. I know it's very scary. You're bringing the person that you care about most in the world, and you're placing them with a bunch of strangers. And that's very, very hard, and we understand that. We do it every single day. Assisted livings will make you feel part of this community. They will make you a participant as well. You will always be welcome. Like Arthur said, visit at odd times. You'll find that your mom, your dad, your sister, your brother, they look just as good at 9 a.m. as they do at 6 p.m. Because that's what we do. We know where they are, we meet them where they are. We have all different kinds of activities, music, art, art therapy. Um, they might not know what's going on today, but they knew what was going on 50 years ago, and that's okay. So in the evening, everybody gets tired, you want to sit down, we all do it at home, you want to relax and watch a little bit of mindless TV, we might watch I Love Lucy or Mr. Ed, because we remember that. And it's okay, because we can all laugh at it too. So assisted living is really a nice option for folks. It's not as expensive as you think. When you add up everything that you're paying for at home, assisted living's memory programs are typically a one price program. So it's an all-inclusive, um, they range anywhere from $3,000 to $6,000, depending upon apartments and things like that. There are different options out there. If you're, just, if you're just in this world for the first time and you're not quite ready, check out some of the Adult Day House. We have one in Natick, we have one in Northbridge, but there are also several right in this area, several very, very good ones. Thank you. Thank you, Trish. That was, that was great. And I just want to start by just, so that, this slide here, the, the lady on the right, this is when you're kind of talking about kind of the, the, the issue with really having training. So the lady on the right um, is asked by one of the other employees every day at about 2 o'clock to start working on a puzzle because she loves puzzles. And also because before they started doing that, um, when, when, when she came in with her daughter, who was always taking care of her, she said, you know, Ma, you're going to have a real trouble with Ma. Because no matter what, every day at 2.30, she wants to go to the bus stop to pick up the kids. Right? Now, the youngest one is now 50 years old, but she really wants to go to that bus stop to pick up the kids. But, so now what she does every day is at 2 o'clock, she starts working on a crossword puzzle, which, or excuse me, on a, on a regular puzzle, which she loves doing and 2.30 comes and goes, and she works on the puzzle, right? It, the goal of, the goal of folks who are trained in Alzheimer's care is to be trying to understand that, to try to really understand who the person is that they're dealing with. Now, that applies to the folks who are in assisted living. Really, it also applies to folks now who are, who are, who are it, it, that's the kind of person that you want if your, your loved one is at home. That's the kind of person you want to have staying at home. You want to have Mary Jr. know this stuff, right? And you want to be kind of learning that stuff. But I, but I do want to go back and talk about money. Oh, $6,000 a, a month? How can we ever do this? So, just briefly. First of all, I'm assuming in this case, Frank and Mary are about 75, 80 years old, right? And they've got a house, and it's worth $300,000, and they've got these other assets, and if you put them all together, they're worth about $800,000, right? So they don't have nothing. They would love, following their death, 
to leave everything to their kids. If God were kind enough to hit them both over the head instead of making them go through this, they'd love to do that. But if God isn't going to do that for them, right, then they should be, be thinking that the, what they have in assets they're going to use to take care of themselves. That's what they, that's what they saved for. They made money. They saved for, for re, uh, retirement and old age, right? So that's one. Two, if you go to an assisted living facility, um, and by the way, this is, you know, I don't work for them, <laughs> right? I'm just a lawyer. Um, but I think you want to be understanding the, these options. And by the way, you do want to talk to the Alzheimer's Association and the folks from Bay Path before you hire any of these people, because they look very sweet, and I think that they are, but they might be really tricky, right? And, and, and Bay Path is the biggest vendor or the biggest hirer of home care agencies, so they know them all. And the Alzheimer's Association, Julie, they're going to know every assisted living program in the state, and they're going to be able to tell you the good part and the bad part. And they're going to tell you all of that for free, right? So um, that said, if you go to assisted living, most of your other bills go away, right? So that $3,000 a month that Frank and Mary earn, right, they're not going to have a big carry in addition to the cost of the assisted living. That's first. Second, if Mary needs help with, what, two of the activities of daily living, right? And if Frank was a veteran who served during at least one day in a, during a period of war, which in these generations coming up means a lot of people, right? Then either Frank or Mary is entitled to a benefit called the aid and attendance benefit, which can range, the benefit can range from between $1,200 and $2,000 per month, right? And if they're in assisted living, and the person with dementia needs help with two of the activities of daily living, and the payment for the assisted living facility for this memory care is a bundled payment, not a la carte, but one bundled payment. You write one check every month to the assisted living facility. Then for VA purposes, that entire cost is considered to be a medical expense, which thereby, therefore will reduce Frank and Mary's income for VA purposes to zero, which will entitle them, whoever needs it, to the maximum benefit. So in Frank's case, it could be $2,000 a month. 